All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for wisdom and understanding of the gospel is true. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, teaching us the truth of the gospel of the kingdom. All right, now the name of this lesson is going to be, Though He Slay Me. Okay. Now, to the start of this lesson, we're going to go to the, let's see, what scripture do we want? Yeah, Job uh, 13. Job 13. Let me find it real quick. 13 and uh, 15. This is Job 13 and 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation, for an hypocrite shall not come before him, man. Yeah, it tells you, um, what is it? Yeah, Psalms 5 and 5, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Okay? But I'll read this verse again, man. This is one of my favorites. This is Job chapter... 13 and 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Okay? Yep, so lo, it's lo he slay me. Okay? Yahweh Bashmi Ashai slain us, man. How did he do that? Because he sent us to the, the land of the valley of the shadow of death, which is America, man. Alright? And it's funny because the, the so called church don't quote that scripture, but they, they don't know what that's talking about. What does that talk about? That's talking about America, man. One reason why we know that is because a uh, uh, valley, you know, when you go into the, the whole breakdown of scripture, it's talking about low land, right? So the low land would be America because you got the mountains on that side, right? And you got the mountains at the other side, but then the whole land mass pretty much in the middle. Of course, you got some uh, little, littler mountains and stuff in between. But for the most part, it's like a little, you know, uh, uh, land and whatnot in the middle. So that's America, man. All right, just going off that. We don't even have to get into the other stuff, though. All right. Um, I'll read it one more time. Job chapter 13, verse 15. All right. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, for I will maintain my own ways before him. Okay. He shall also be my salvation, for an hypocrite shall not come before him. Yeah, Psalms 5 and 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Okay. The Lord hates all workers of iniquity. He doesn't love them. Got guys out there like... Uh, What's that guy's name? Uh, Andrew Ashby? Oh, oh, uh, Age Anonymous is going off. It's going off, man. Hey, man, you ain't know the scriptures, man. You ain't know the scriptures. All right? Now, whatever name you want to call me by, you know, that's fine with me. All right? Um, but, you know, the point is, you know, those guys, and the scriptures also say, basically, um, and I'm trying to think of the exact precept. There's a precept that basically goes into how these people, you know, speak evil of the things that they don't know, man. They speak evil think concerning things they know not, okay? Like, you, you don't know the scripture, so you, here it is, you're going to speak evil about our apostles when we break it down to you, man, okay? All we're simply doing is telling you what it says, okay? All right, um, let's get, what's that, Philippines? This is Philippines. Philippians, lock it. Philippians, uh, chapter 4, verse 13. Let me get it down right real quick. There we go. I can do all things through Yahweh Shai, which strengtheneth me. Okay? Yeah, man, we can do all things through Yahweh Shai, man. Alright, so lo, he slays us, we can still do all things through him, man. And when it says he slays us, he sends us the temptations and stuff, man. The scriptures even say, because you know, a spiritual demon Satan, of course, he's the one that does that. But he's underneath the Lord, man. The spiritual demon Satan, who people just call Satan, right? Which is two Satans, the so-called white man, and also the spiritual demon Satan, alright? But when you, uh, um... Look into the scriptures to tell you that Satan's under the Lord's authority, man. And the Lord will not tempt you above that which, you know, you can't handle, man. Okay? And it gets tough sometimes. The scriptures tell you the Lord drank lots of wine. Okay? Because he was a man of much sorrows, man. 
which I did a video on that just the other day. All right, the Lord was full of much sorrows and angers, man. All right, his anger upheld in him, man. But in order to get through, he had to drink wines and stuff, man, which that's fine to do. Okay, you gotta get through somehow. Okay, so, you know, whatever you can find that helps you get through, you know, that's always good, man. All right, because you gotta have, you know, some brothers play video games, man. All right, that's fine. I used to be uh, a number one top guy in video games, man. I used to be with the top thousand players in the world in some video games, man. I had to give all that up to, to do this. But, you know, hey, you know, that was fun. You know, sometimes I'd play, you know, a video game here or there. But I, I used to play 16 hours a day, man. I used to be a champion at the top with those guys, man. Literally, don't believe me? You know, hey, if you don't believe me, you don't believe me. But, hey, I'm telling you the truth, man. All right? Yeah, it worked, you know, hey, that was a little, uh, big goal I got to, but hey, man, I had to give that up to follow this, man. And that's what it's going to cost you, man. The apostles, they asked the Lord, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? The Lord told them that basically they're going to inherit everything that they lost, man. So everything you lost on this side, you're going to get that back, all right? But anyway, that's rambling on. Let's get to the rest of the um, thing. Let's first come in. Um, 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to uh, be tempted above that ye be, are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Yeah, man, because sometimes, you know, you get the devils, they jump on you. Try to torment you, man. Hey, you got to get through it, man. All right? Because this is part of our suffering, man. All right? And remember, at the end of the day, America, okay? Because this nation, this is the cause of pretty much all the problems in the world. It tells you, Nahum, the third chapter, I believe it's the fourth verse, through your sorceries, you destroyed the families. Now, you're paraphrasing the scripture, man. Through the ways of America has destroyed the household, man. That's why you got so many problems. Okay? That's okay, because you all bought Shemir Shah's going to bring recompense for that, man. Okay, there'll become, it's going to come a day when there'll be recompense for what has happened. Okay, that's going to be a beautiful thing. Okay, but hey man, you know, Yahweh Shemir Shai, even though he tempts us, lo, he slays me, you know, I'll, I'll still trust in him, man. All right, as we read in uh, Job, I believe, what, 13, 15? Job 13, 15, right? Uh, which I'm not going to get the scripture again because we just read that a few times, but the point is, you know, I'll read the top of the this one. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There be no temptation taken you but such as common to men. Yeah, now that's talking about basically what we're suffering, man. Because we're all going through different things, man. But guess what? Everything that you're going through, even the people in the world are going through, man. But they're, they're going through. They know they're being oppressed. Scriptures say surely oppression makes wise, man. man. They know they're being oppressed, but they're not wise. But that shows you the, uh, how deep the oppression is, man. Even the fools can see they're being oppressed. Right? Even now these people are seen Because the scriptures say Basically uh, when it goes in our curses That we get wages Whenever we get wages We put them in bags of holes Even these people are now seeing And that's true man Even though they don't believe in the scriptures They're seeing that that's true Okay Because this Because uh, the Lord's showing these nations America's iniquities man okay? The Lord's uh, exposing America man Okay America's being exposed For, what, uh, for the fraud it is Okay uh, let's get one more scripture, Proverbs. It's locked in. This is um, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man falls seven times and rise up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Yeah, man, because, uh, you know, whenever you suffer, sometimes you just got to, you know, do whatever the thing is that you're trying to get away from that. All right. And that's OK, because uh, what you know, really, the word seven, that means a completion. So that's not literally just talking about seven times. That could be a thousand times, man. All right. The Lord knows your, your heart, man. He knows if you're trying or you're not. OK. That's not a mystery to him. All right. He knows that. The scriptures say. Woe to you who go deep to hide your counsel from Yahweh Shai. And you know the paraphrase of the scripture, man. Because these elites, what they try to do is they try to hide what their, their doings from the most high power. You can't do that, man. You can't hide 
uh, yourself from the Most High. It's not possible. It can't be done. How can you hide yourself from somebody who knew everything what was going to happen before the world was even created? How can you hide yourself from that? You can't. The scriptures say, and the Apocrypha, and I believe it's Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus, it tells you the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. 10,000 times brighter than the sun. All right? So he sees you, man. All right? Um, anyway, you know, I just want to do that quick uh, video for you fellow fellow Akim out there. You know, I hope that was edifying to you fellow brothers. You know, hey, remember, though he slays us, you know, he still, he still loves you, man. Because, you know, the scriptures say, you know, in the Apocrypha, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation, man. And the scriptures also say, those who the Lord loves, he chastises, man. All right? Meaning he punishes. All right? The Lord punishes those who he loves, man. The Lord takes things from you, man. He makes you go for certain situations in your life, man. All right? He, he uh, allows these people to oppress you. He allows some of our people to be brutally murdered, man. All right? The Lord allows us, man. The scriptures say, I forget the exact scripture. I believe it's in Amos. But the scriptures say, if there's evil in the city, have the Lord not done it? Because the Lord is behind everything in the world. That's a topic for another time. But the point is, you know, hey, though he slays us, we still trust in him, man. All right? But anyway, with that being said, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for the wisdom and understanding of this truth. I'll see you fellow Ankim around next time. Remember to uh, put on notifications if you have not already. Have any uh, precepts you want to throw in the comment section, please do so. With that being said, I'll see you fellow Ankim around next time. Until then, Shalom.